and we are about to make a healthy berry and purple cabbage smoothie you all let's get into it so here are the ingredients for week number three flat tummy smoothie challenge you all or it's a flat your end everything your blood pressure your blood sugar your weight but we're calling it a flat tummy smoothie challenge and here are the ingredients you all i have a half a cup of blackberries i have a half a cup of raspberries i have a half a cup of blueberries right there didn't have a cup so you know it's right there on my chopping board one cup of purple cabbage this is kind of the main ingredient for this recipe, packed with vitamin K, you all, packed with the antioxidant vitamin C, you all. Then I have a few pieces of ginger right here, fresh ginger cut up, ready to go. And I have one tablespoon of flax seed, you all. There we go, one tablespoon of flax seed. So in addition, we have two cups of water over here and I have um, two tablespoons of Bragg's apple cider vinegar, organic apple cider vinegar. And supposedly the mother is in there. I don't know what the mother is. Maybe some, you know, if you know what the mother is, leave a comment below and let us know what the mother is. So we are about to blend you guys. You all know the Nutribullet, that is my baby right here. There is a link below in um, the description if you guys want to go invest in you a Nutribullet. But we are about to blend our smoothie up, y'all. Let's get it. So remember, you guys, it's okay to buy your fruits and vegetables fresh and chop them up. I do not peel anything, chop it up, put it in a Ziploc bag or a container, put it in the freezer and you'll be ready to go um, each day when you get ready to do your smoothies, right? I really don't recommend doing your smoothies two or three days ahead of time, just one day ahead of time. That's the most that I recommend. You'll start losing nutrients if you don't freeze it um, and if you just let it sit in the fridge for a few days. So you all know, whoever been watching me for a while, all I do is just dump my ingredients in. Again, it's half a cup of blackberries, half a cup of raspberries, one cup right here of um, chopped purple cabbage, and we're just dumping it in, you all. Then I have a few small pieces of ginger right there, tossing that in. One tablespoon of flax seed. I keep saying chia seeds. It's flax seed, you all. Flax seed. Chia seeds are okay, but I prefer flax seed. They're a little bit more nutrient dense. And then one cup of my blackberries right here. And instead of measuring stuff out, you guys, I really just measure stuff to, you know, for those of you guys, what quantity of this should I put in? What people just grab a handful of this, a handful of that. Do not make making a smoothie complicated. It should not be complex. It should be simple. Grab your ingredients, a handful of this, a handful of that, a dash of this, a dash of that. But for you guys who would like to see the measurements, that's what we have right there. Um, again, the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Studies have shown that apple cider vinegar will help to lower your blood glucose level. Studies have also shown that um, this will help to cut fat. So we have been putting it in our smoothie um, for the entire month so far. So I'm going to do two tablespoons of the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Toss it in right there. And that is pretty much it, you all. And my two cups of water. And we are ready for blending, you all. Check out this baby. Let's blend. So it's we time to blend. Zap it up a few times and we'll be ready to go. Just like that, we are ready to go, you all. Check out this beauty. Look at the color. Berries, 
are rich in antioxidants, you all. Your dark berries are low in calories. They are low in sugar. I know if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, they tell you to be careful of your fruits. But when selecting your fruits, yes, if you are diabetic, you need to be selective. A lot of the tropical fruits like your pineapples and your mangoes, fruits like grapes, fruits like cherries, those are high kiwis. Those are high in sugar. Your berries, your darker berries, your blackberries, your blueberries, and even the raspberries, low in calories, low in sugar, packed with antioxidants that's going to help to protect your cells from free radicals. Free radicals damage your cells. Once your cells are damaged, you are prone to all chronic diseases, including cancer. So let's get this baby cracking, you all. We're gonna open this bad boy and we are going to give it a try. Check it out, you all. And you know, it's all about the poor. Check it out, you all. Look at how pretty this is. No sugar added, no extra crap, no extra junk. You know what's in your smoothie. You have your blackberries, your raspberries, your blueberries, your flaxseed, your apple cider vinegar, water, ginger. These are fresh, whole fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, your purple cabbage. That's going to give it this beautiful color right here. It's going to help to lower your blood pressure, lower your blood sugar, lower your cholesterol, your LDL, which is your bad cholesterol. It's going to help with healthy skin, healthy hair, healthy nails. It's going to help to make you rest well at night, boost your energy, you all. It's not the cure all for everything. We all got something going on. This is not going to cure it all, but this is going to give your body a fighting chance. It's like that defense mechanism against all the these chronic diseases you guys so go ahead and give this one a try you all if this is your first time on my channel subscribe and if you haven't followed me on TikTok yet you all you gotta hop on over to TikTok and give your girl a follow it's the Barrett nutrition this is actually for my TikTok followers I'm not even gonna lie this is where I send them to come see my long form videos and they've been coming through. They've been watching the videos and they've been doing the smoothies. People are losing weight and lowering blood sugar and lowering cholesterol. And this is really just the week three recipe, you all. We are about to get into week four. So stay tuned for that recipe, you all. So until then, you guys, you know it. Get your ass up and move and make you a smoothie, y'all.